Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. This is Mel. I'm also known as Mel the Health Coach. Keep watching, I got some good information about my fitness journey and how I'm gonna go and proceed with everything. Just keep on watching. Hey y'all, I know y'all still see the Christmas tree. It's still January 1st. I'm taking the Christmas tree down today. Um, I just wanted to quickly introduce everything, kind of what we're gonna talk about, a little chit chat goals and stuff like that i kind of want to share with you guys about my fitness journey so just to give you guys just a little bit of background i was 230 pounds i will i will um show you guys a picture somewhere over here of what I was and what I looked like when I was 230 pounds. As of right now, I'm supposed to be 187 pounds. And the reason why I say I'm supposed to is because you know, the holidays had came, even though I did for good for Christmas. No, I did good for Thanksgiving. I really didn't do that good for Christmas and January. So I'm kind of getting back in the swing of things and kind of getting back my body into ketosis. So yes, I do keto, I love keto. I don't know how if I'm gonna do keto forever, but as of right now, I enjoy myself. I am on keto and I'm going to get back into keto. Okay, so let's go into plans. Okay, so I want to, as of right now, since it's January 1st, what I'm going to show you guys is, I'm trying to, what I'm going to show you guys now is kind of what I have, like kind of like in my pantry or refrigerator type of video, a short one really quickly to show you guys what I have, what I'm about to plan for meal prep, and what my long term goals. So, kind of give you guys. So I know this video I didn't write. I didn't write anything down. So I'm kind of going off the top of my head. I will come back in the video if I need to address anything and go forward. I kind of just jumped right into it. So, um, right now my plan is to get back into ketosis. Not even really back into ketosis. Getting back in the routine of eating clean, healthy getting back eating healthy and getting back just in the routine of everything so ketosis is a number one thing that you want to do for keto but how i feel when especially when you kind of drop down especially the holidays you don't want to push yourself into like okay i need to get to ketosis i need to get ketosis well we know you got to get in ketosis because that's a part of keto that's a part of your journey that's a part of losing weight but first you want to focus on just getting back in the habit because after you did a lot of eating, like I, I did, I know for me personally, that first week going into that two weeks is very hard. You, Because your body's like, okay, girl, you've been eating all this stuff. Now you want to stop eating at a certain time. Now you about to stop drinking pop. Now you about to stop eating all the sweets. Now you about to stop doing this. What is the issue? So your body is like, okay, it's not agreeing with your mind right now. So that first week is going to be a little challenging, especially for me. So after that first week, going a little bit into the second week, my body gets back on track and it's, it's hard for me. Um, so my main focus is not necessarily getting back into keto ketosis because it will happen is getting back on a routine. So number one, what I'm going to do is first make sure I have all my keto foods that I have that I need to help me get into this transition hey y'all so sorry about the lighting it's not that great my um my light bulb literally just blew after i said i need to go to the store and go get some lights so i'm still in the middle of cleaning my kitchen so excuse uh, my background but i wanted to show you guys what i mean about step one for meal prepping um, when you take stuff out your cabinets or look through your cabinets look through your freezer look through your refrigerator see what you already have now, I didn't take every little thing out um, to show you guys. Excuse me. I spit it. Jesus. I didn't take every little thing out because I didn't want to put everything back. But I wanted to kind of show you what I kind of have and what I'm kind of working with. Um, I, I have to go to the store and go get some more meat. My freezer, if you can see behind me, is not that big. So a certain amount of foods that I have to get. Um, on a monthly and weekly basis anyway, not to overflow my freezer. Um, so with that being said, I kind of put some stuff on the table to show you guys what I have. Um, so again, step one, take stuff out, look through your cabinets, look through your freezer, look through your refrigerator, look through your condiments, look through your stuff and see what you already have. 
because you don't want to go to step two when you meal prep and over budget. So if you jump right into step two, you're prepping and over budgeting stuff that you don't need. Okay, so this is what I'm working with so far, which is not too bad. So I actually got this from, from a pantry about a week ago. I don't even know how, I never cooked this butter squash before. I don't even know um, how long is it supposed to be fresh. So I was thinking, because I seen on YouTube, I actually had seen a lady um, on YouTube make a, I think it was like a chicken parmesan squash or a spaghetti squash. So. I'm going to make this for myself. My kids are not going to eat this. They're not absolutely not going to eat that. So I can probably just make this how big it is. I can probably cut it in half, um, horizontal coil and vertical and make four and then freeze it after I cook it. So if you guys want to see me make this and prep it, and again, this will be the first time I ever done this. I'm going to actually try to see if I can find a recipe. If you want, want to see me make this, leave a comment below and I will show you guys how I made this. So I already had these in my cabinets. I actually, I got one, two, three, four, five, six. So I had six and I actually had bought 10. So I already had a couple. So these are good for solids, sandwiches, whatever. So these are good um, for lunch and dinner that I can have. So looking through my freezer, um, the, this one, the label had fell off, but this is an all chicken um, brought. And I actually got this from Adi's. Um, and these are actually pretty good. I'm actually going to make this for lunch. Um, make this for lunch when I, when I make, I'm going to make this for lunch. Um, I got these um, chili lime chicken burgers. I got these from Trader Joe's. I actually seen this on YouTube on the, a girl's channel. These are really good. I have already opened these. So you see I've had eight these. I got a pack of all natural chicken and it's four of them. So this will be it for, a, for all of us to eat. And I got some salmon burgers um, for me to eat as well. So I kind of got almost a week of food a little bit um, already for myself. I just have to get some stuff for my kids. And then I got these can of white chicken. I got this cauliflower chicken. And then I'm actually going to unthaw this. This is cabbage soup. Um, I will show you guys what this looks like once I put it in a crock pot and cook it. If you guys want to see um, how it looks, and if you guys are interested in seeing what it um if you guys kind of like how it looks and you want to know a recipe, I can always plan in the next weekly vlog, uh, meal prep, and to show you how I make that. So that's what that is. I'm actually going to take that out the freezer and I'm going to put that in the crock pot in a moment once I get my counter cleaned off. Uh, my son um, just opened these <laughs> out my refrigerator, my two-year-old. So I'm actually going to clean these, cut these, and put them inside of here when they cook. So I just add a little bit more vegetables and get rid of it. So I throw it away. Um, so I do have some of this left over. It's about, about a half a pack. These are the pancake and waffle mix. Um, I already have some syrup. I actually ordered these a while ago. Um, these, uh, Chalk Zero syrups. I actually ordered these off of Amazon, maybe over a month ago. And then I do have some sugar free syrup. Um, and I do already have some lilies. I love the milk chocolate, um, peanut ones, peanut butter. Now these ones, I'm not a big fan of the dark chocolate ones, um, the dark chocolate peanut butter. I'm going to eat them because I bought them. These are not cheap, but i rather the milk chocolate. That's why you see two, and I only got one of these. Um, so I do have some carb balance bread that I already had in my cabinet. So these are good. These will be fine for me to have. Um, and I do have a little bit of salad left. So I'm going to actually want to have a salad with um, – some salad because it's, it's going bad and not too too bad but i want to get rid of it um because i want to buy another one of these in my weekly prep so this i did get this from target i got this uh, when i showed you guys my video for my organization video of, of uh, planners i got this stuff on chris on new year's eve because me and the kids had pizza and i haven't even took anything out of that actually that's on the table so i'll just go ahead and show you guys what i when I uh, what I got so I got they had these actually on target for six something these reels um, and this is roasted garlic I got two of these because it was actually only six dollars and some change and then they got um, I got some ice some strawberry uh, citrus I got um, the tropical citrus 
And then they had a, um, they had a cherry vanilla. I really hope this is good. I wonder, I wonder if it tastes like, like a cherry Coke. So I'm hoping this tastes good. So this is the stuff that I actually got from Target when I went to go try to find a planner, but I ended up going to Walmart to buy my planner. I got my thumbnails um, from uh, Target. So that's why I ended up picking this stuff up. And I will leave a link to the video I'm talking about that I have recorded for like a um, budget organization um, video. So I wanted to show you guys that because I already had it and I didn't unpack it yet and I was about to do so. Um, Hey y'all, good morning. It is 10.54 a.m. It is January 2nd. So I wanted to come in and show you guys kind of, this was not how I'm normally going to do this. I don't even like how I did this, but I'm kind of rushing. I really need to go to the grocery store and get some food and stuff. I'm in the bed. Um, I was doing some um, editing and then also wanted to show you guys my dinner meals and my prep so i'm gonna explain this just a little bit um so what i did was the meal prep that i'm about to show you guys is going to be for sat this saturday which is the second until saturday the ninth um and these are only for dinner and then i have on my other page i'm going to show you which i'm not going to do it this way next week but this is just one example that you can do um, so every week we'll just do something different and if we like it, don't like it, you know, um, throw it away, do it a different way. Sorry guys that my kids are loud. They are up and about right now. Um, so I want to kind of show you guys this really quickly and then I will go to the grocery store. I'm going to try to take you guys with me. Okay. So this is what I have right now. Cause again, I'm, I'm kind of rushing. Um, so here goes my meals. And again, this is just for dinner, January 2nd, 21st, to January 9th, 21. So Saturday, we're doing leftover soup that I had made um, that are froze. So we're going to have that today. Um, Sunday and Monday, um, which is tomorrow, is going to be spaghetti and garlic bread. Tuesday and Wednesday is going to be tacos. I'm going to make enough to last for Tuesday and Wednesday. Thursday and Friday, I'm going to have a chicken and broccoli casserole. And then Saturday is going to be leftover. So Sunday, that is not on here because um, I will be recording again what I'm going to be doing. So as of right now, it's going to be, this is from Saturday to Saturday. And then we'll be doing another meal prep um, for Saturday to next Saturday. Um, so this, again, this is just what I did really quickly, really fast. Um, and But this is not how I'm going to do it next week. So what I did for the grocery store, I kind of put it in four sections. I got it in breakfast, lunch, <coughs> excuse me, breakfast, lunch, dinner, and drinks. So I got, um, this is some extra stuff that I need to get. Um, some waffles, pop tart, cereal, sausages, eggs, bacon, frozen berry, keto yogurt, drinks, milk, water, and I put sugar free. It's for the sugar free drink I'm going to get from Kroger. Lunch, solid, keto bread. I put a number two right there. Kind of need two packs, hot pockets, a meat tray and crackers that make homemade lunchables. And then dinner, I got hamburger. I put four packs, or I'm just do one big pack, some skinless chicken breasts and broccoli. And I'm still going over this just to make sure I have everything. And again, 